हेलो एवरी वन टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट काउंटिंग शॉर्ट अलगोरिदम एज पर दी अदर शॉर्टिंग अलगोरिदम दिस काउंटिंग शॉर्ट अलगोरिदम इज ऑल्सो यूजफुल टू कन्वर्ट लिस्ट ऑफ नंबर इन टू एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर हियर अगेन वी हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ नंबर एंड वी हैव स्टोर इन साइड वन अरे एंड द नेम ऑफ द अरे इज नॉन एज सपोज ए सो द साइज ऑफ ए इज वन टू एंड दिस एन इंडिकेट्स नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ऑफ अवर अरे नाउ uh in this counting sort algorithm we will have a different three array one is a in that we have already stored different values and which is in random order and the number of elements are n so the size of the a array is n now we have another array that is b which has the same size n 1 to n and this b basically used to store our output so b has a sorted uh, uh, after completion of our uh, algorithm the b will have a sorted elements and we have another array that is c which has a size 0 to k this size 0 to k is nothing but the range of our a right because in a counting sort algorithm counting sort assumes that each of the n input elements is an integer in the range 0 to k so whatever the value in our array 1 to n will have one fixed range and based on this range we can find the uh, size of our c so there will be a uh, three separate array one is a in that we will have a list of uh, random uh, elements and b will be uh, our output array in that we will store our sorted elements and c basically used to sort list of number uh, into ascending order so let us discuss uh, algorithm how uh, counting sort algorithm works Uh, we have divided our whole algorithm into different four step so let us discuss step number 1 first as per the step number 1 uh, we have to fill our uh, array c so we already discussed that the size of the c will be 0 to k which is a range for, uh, that we can get from the uh, list of element of the a so we have to initially fill a uh, uh, 0th value uh, in our uh, c right so all the value of c will be 0 Uh, at our step number 1 as per the step number 2 we have to increment the value of c based on the value of a so we have to read the value of a and based on that we have to uh, increment the value of c this is our step number 2 step number 3 says that we have to perform addition between current element of c with the previous element of c so c i Uh, c of i is equal to c of i plus c of i minus one. The c of i minus one indicates previous value, and c of i indicates current value. Uh, we have to perform addition uh, between current and previous value of c. This is our step number three. Step number four says that based on the value of uh, c and based on the value of a, we have to fill the value of b. right so we have to fill our output array b in our step number 4 but every time we have to increment uh, sorry we have to decrement the value of c also so this is our step number 4 this all the stuff we will discuss in detail with one example so that you can easily understand how this all the steps works and will convert list of number into ascending order so let us take one example so that you can easily understand uh, suppose we have a list of number Like six zero two zero one three four six one three and two, total eleven number of elements are there in our array A. So as we discuss, uh, we have to declare uh, another array that is a C, and the size of the C is nothing but the one range that we can define from this array A. So we have to identify minimum element uh, in this array and maximum element in this array. So the minimum element in this array is zero, and the maximum element in this array is a six. So the range, or we can say the size of the C array, is zero to six. right so now this is the size of the uh, our uh, c array that is a uh, 0 to 6 now we have to fill a uh, zero uh, uh, for each and every element of our c and this is nothing but our step number 1 so as per the step number 1 we have to identify the size of the c and we have to uh, fill zero uh, in each and every element of the c 
so this is our step number one now as per the step number two we have to increment the value of c based on the value of a it means that every time we have to read the value of a and based on that we have to increment the value of c this is our step number two so let us discuss what is step number two is as per the step number two we have to read the value from the array a so just read our first value uh, from the array a that is our six right so this is six it means that we have to increment the six index value on six index of our c array right so six index has a previous value zero so zero will be increment by one so it will be one here then after we have to read the next element that is zero so the value on the zeroth index of our c will be increment by one so here it is zero so will be increment by one so it will be one in our next step so this will be one now read our next element that is two so uh, the value on second index will be increment by one so it will be uh, zero plus one is equal to one then our next element is zero again we have to uh, increment the zero index of our c increment by one so previous element uh, was one so one plus one is equal to two so it will be a two here then we have to read uh, our second element and second element is one so the value on first index will be increment by one so here it is zero so zero plus one is equal to one then we have to read next element that is three so we have to uh, increment the uh, value on index three so it uh, previous element was zero so it will be one so it is one now now next value is four so the value on fourth index will be increment by one so previously it is zero uh, so it will be increment by one so zero plus one is equal to one now again the next value is six so the in, uh, uh, value on index number six will be increment by one so the previous value was one so one will be increment by one that is two so on index six there will be two value then again read a uh, uh, next value and next value is one so the value on index one will be increment by one so here uh, previously it was one so one will be increment by one is equal to two so the next value is two now we have to read next value that is three so value on index three will be increment by one so it will be two here and the last value that is two so we have to increment the value on index two uh, so previously it was one so it will be two now so we can get a, a new array that is c four times two then after one zero and two right so this is our step number two now we have a two array one is a array and c array both are ready for the next step and our next step step number three is we have to perform addition between current element and previous element for c so this is our uh, c uh, array so we have to perform addition between uh, previous two number for example two plus two four then four plus two six six plus two eight 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 0 0 sorry 9 plus 0 uh, 9 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 so in this way we have to fill a uh, previous value and current value uh, continuously until we uh, reach to the last element so let us start uh, first we have to perform addition between these two number so 2 as it is then 2 plus 2 4 so next value will be 2 then 4 then 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 then 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 so next element is 6 likewise 6 plus 2 is equal to 8 so our next element is 8 then 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 so our next element will be 9 then after uh, 9 plus 0 is equal to 0 and 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 so that we can finally get c array that is 2 4 6 8 9 9 and 11 this is our uh, final c use this c basically to uh, store the values inside the b array and b array is our output array in that we will have a list of number into ascending order <coughs> so now 
uh, fill our B array based on the value of C. So our last step that is a step number four in that we have to fill the value uh, inside the B array but based on the value of A as well as C. So now how we can uh, fill our uh, B array uh, that is our output array based on the value of a so now we have uh, an array c which uh, denotes the position of uh, elements inside the b so now this is our final c and c l array basically indicates uh, the correct position of every element of our a and now start reading a from the end so we have to start from the last element so remember this step step number four says that we have to start we have to read our a element uh, sorry a array from the last so last element is two here so uh, we have to just read our second index uh, the value on our second index that is six right so this is the two so we have to read second index of c uh, which has a six it indicates that your two must be on sixth position but here we are not going to store uh, 2 here because 3 already available so we will overwrite the value so we have, uh, we have to take another separate array this separate array is our b so in this separate array we have to store uh, our two elements on 6th position right so uh, stores 2 on our 6th position like here again i am repeating we have to start uh, uh, as per the step number 4 we have to start from the last element of our a just read the value for example it is 2 right so the value on index 2 uh, of our c array that we need to read and this is the 6 it indicates that our 2 must be on 6th uh, 6th position in our b array so we have to store 2 on our 6th position it means that here likewise next element is our 3 so we have to read 3 and we have to identify the value on index 3 so value on index 3 that is 8 it indicates that our 3 must be on 8th position in our b so 3 must be stored here so our next step is uh, we have to store the 3 here but one another uh, point you must retain here is uh, once we uh, read the value from the array a for example 2 then uh, we identifying the exit position for example 6 we, uh, then after we are storing our 2 on the position number uh, 6 right then next step is we have to reduce the value of c by 1 so it is a 6 so 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 every time we have to reduce uh, after storing the value inside our b array right so let's take another uh, let's take our next uh, one we have to read our next element that is a 3 right so now we have to identify a, a value on third index and the value on third index that is 8 right so we have to store uh, uh, this 3 on index number 8 or we can say the position number 8 in our b so the 3 3 will be stored inside uh, uh, our position number 8 and in next step we have to reduce uh, the value 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 so the on index number 3 the value will be 7 in next step right so in next step this value will be 7 now read a uh, uh, next element or we can say the previous element that is 1 so we have to identify uh, the value on index 1 so value on index 1 that is 4 it indicates that our 1 has a correct position and this correct position is a 4 in our b array so we have to store uh, 1 on fourth position in our b array so store uh, 1 here and then reduce the value 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 here right so in next step uh, on index 1 uh, will have value Oh, 3 instead of 4 so this value will be 3 now read another element that is 6 so we have to identify uh, the value uh, on index 6 that is 11 it means that the 6 must be stored on 11th position in our b array so store uh, 6 on 11th position in our b array then as we discussed we have to reduce uh, 11 minus 1 that is 10 on index number 6 so our next value will be 10 on index number 6 now our next value is 4 we have to uh, read 
uh, index number 4 and the value is 9. It means that 4 must be stored on a uh, ninth position in our B. So store a uh, 4 on ninth position in our B and then reduce uh, 9 by 1 so it will be 8. So it will be 8 here. Then read a uh, next previous element of our a that is our 3 so read a 3 uh, value on index number 3 that is 7 it means that we have to store 3 on 7th position in our b and we have to reduce uh, 7 by uh, 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 now our next value is a 1 so we have to read a, a value on index 1 that is 3 so we have to store 1 on uh, position number 3 so we can uh, store 1 here and then we have to reduce uh, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Then our next element that is a 0. So we have to reduce, we have to uh, read uh, value on index number 0. Uh, here value is 2. It indicates that 0 must be stored on position number 2. So store 0 here and then uh, decrement the value uh, on index number 1. That is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Then after uh, uh, we have to uh, read a next value that is uh, 2 uh, next value that is 2 uh, so we have to read a, a value on index number 2 that is 5 so this 2 must be stored on index number 5 then the next value will be 4 now we have to read uh, uh, 0 uh, and we have to check the value of uh, in uh, value on index 0 is equal to 1 so it must be store 0 on first position in our b array right so then in this way uh, we have to read last element and last element has a uh, 6 we have to read our sixth index uh, on that value is 10 so we have to store sixth on index number 10 so 6 will be stored here and then value, uh, value of C will be reduced by 1 that is 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 right so now just check uh, this all the values inside the B this all the values inside the B is uh, now in ascending order so in this way we have to uh, convert list of number into ascending order so thank you thank you very much mm -hmm.